Hey guys, I'm here today participating in April's blog hop with Spellbinders featuring products from their monthly kits. I'm featuring the stamp set from the April card kit called Weekend Fun. I have two previous videos on this card kit and I did not use a stamp set so I thought this would be a good time to use it. So I'm stamping these two images out onto some you know what? I used Bristol Smooth cardstock and I did not mean to. But the Bristol Smooth cardstock worked really well with the Copic markers. I just realized that. So I suggest using alcohol marker friendly cardstock like Spectrum Noir cardstock, which is what I typically use. But yeah, this is on Bristol Smooth and it was totally fine. So good to know. Happy little accident. So I'm going to use my Copic markers and color these real quick, and while I color them, I'll just give you some details about the blog hop. Now, it is a blog hop, so if you want to participate, you need to go over to my blog and start there. I will have the link below, and there you will find all the details about the blog hop and the prizes you could win. So Spellbinders is giving a $50 gift certificate to three lucky readers, uh, blog readers, off their blog so you would have to go and comment over there but then I'm also going to give away a 25 well Spellbinders is giving it away but to one lucky winner on my blog it's $25 gift certificate so comment on my blog and I will choose a winner on April 26th and it'll be announced over on my blog so again all the details will be over there um, I did this last month it was a lot of fun brought in a lot of traffic to my blog which I'm slowly getting back going I usually don't blogging is a lot of work um, it's probably just as much work as making a video um, if you do it you know well like these bloggers I follow that make these beautiful blog car making blogs I know it's a lot of work with taking the pictures and linking everything so I do not really blog all that often, but I'm slowly getting back into it because I do want to um, be able to build my audience over there. So I'm just going to finish coloring this up. I really, really like this B stamp set that comes in the kit. It's very pretty. This B image is very pretty, or I'm sorry, the beehive image is very pretty. I like the flowers around it. And I don't have many yellow Copic markers, so I wanted this to have really good dimension, but the two colors I used are very similar. So in person, you do see a light variation in color, but overall, I think it looks really good. I like those little bees as well. So in a moment here, I'm going to take a piece of white cardstock, and I'm going to score every fourth of an inch. Oh, before I do that, here are some dies I use to cut the bees out and also these little shapes out. Put those aside. Just wanted to show those real quick, that those dies are part of the kit. And it was nice to have that bee die to cut out the bee. I didn't have to fussy cut it. I did fussy cut out the beehive. So here, again, I'm scoring every fourth of an inch. If you have an embossing folder that does that, you can, of course, use the embossing folder. I do have an embossing folder, but I wanted to show you how you could do it without an embossing folder. And it's probably actually a little bit quicker <laughs> than getting out my die cutting machine and running that through. So this piece of paper is from the kit also, and I go ahead and add some tape adhesive to the back and go ahead and attach it to my card base. And then I'll go ahead and attach this piece that I scored. Here I'm taking some crushed curry cardstock and I'm stamping it out the sentiment because you are amazing it is a buildable sentiment stamp set so you can do a lot of different sentiments go ahead and attach that scored piece and then here is I'm just taking some ribbon from my stash to give the card a little bit of interest and go ahead and attach all my pieces I do pop up some pieces. I attach these with the with some glue dots. And 
and then the rest of the items, I, the bees and the beehive, are using dimensionals foam tape. Um, I did use some foam pieces. You get a little thing of foam tape, foam squares, I should say, in your kit. And if you haven't checked out my unboxing or my five cards one kit, um, I'll link that video below if you're interested to see what's in the kit. The kits are really great. I got next month's and I'll be filming that soon here to be released in May. But uh, as always, the kits come with a ton of products and they're really good, especially if you are a beginner crafter and you kind of want to build your stash up. You definitely have lots of leftovers in these kits from Spellbinders. So that completes the card. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Definitely go head over to my blog and participate for your chance to win a $25 gift certificate. And then head over to Spellbinders blog and enter to win their $50 gift certificate. And each blog you comment on, you have a chance to win. So definitely check that out and I will catch you guys next time. Bye.